Before we start the video, I'd like to shout out Logger.com for sponsoring this video. They have an awesome site where you can buy a bunch of in-game currency and items, including all your favorite Rocket League items. Also, make sure you use code DOLBOBS to get an easy 6% off your orders. Check out the site, there's a link in the description. But for now, enjoy the video. Yo, what is going on guys, DOLBOBS here, and welcome back to a brand new video here on the channel, where today we're going to be taking a look at every single Rocket Pass coin on Rocket League, and how different painted versions affect them, and different accent colours affect them, and, you know, just different properties of all of those different cars in a nice showcase for you. I'll try and keep it nice and quick. But if you guys are ready to smash this 2021, then why not smash the like button and let's make this 2021 insane. I'll be grinding out YouTube. We'll be going for those subscribers, those likes, those videos, those views, and we're going to pop off this year. So let's start it off well. And let's take a look at the all, all the Rocket Passes so far. And let's see how they're going to progress in the future. So we're starting off with the Rocket Pass 1. Now this car is the Maverick GXT. And as you can see, the Maverick GXT looks really, really nice. So I'm going to plug in the controller here so we can sort of showcase it off better. Now this is the Maverick GXT. And as you can see, this is the non-painted version. And the lights on it are sort of this turquoise color. It's got a Rocket League badge on the front there. And yeah, it's got its engine showing. The spoiler looks good. And the lights on it are really cool. Now, the way this car sort of works is when you change the accent color, the lights do not change. However, the good thing about this car is when you change the painted version of this car, that's when the lights change color. So, if we change the painted version to Cobalt, as you can see, the lights now change to Cobalt, which is really cool. And obviously, areas on the car as well, not just the lights. So, you can actually change the colors on the lights with this car by just changing the color of the painted version of this car. So as you can see, that's how the Maverick GXT works. And hopefully, you know, I, I actually really like that. And hopefully you guys like that too. I really like that the different painted versions are what determines the color of the, uh, the sort of lights on this. So yeah, one more thing I want to show you guys, because I know some people do want to know. This is what a boost looks like when using this car, because depending on what the exhaust is, um, the boosts do actually look different. So when I showcase this, I will indeed showcase how the boost looks. So that's how a standard boost comes out of this car. Just for you guys that really want to know. All right, so this is the Rocket Pass 2 car, and this is called the Artemis GXT. Now, this is something else. Compared to, you know, your classic Rocket League cars like the Octane or the Merc or the Dominus, this just looks like it's from a whole new dimension, a whole new game at that. And this one works a little differently to the Maverick GXT. So as you can see, you guys probably think this is quite a wild car. And it does make for some really cool, intricate car designs. But if we go to Customize Car, you'll actually see that this is a regular version of the Artemis. And when you, you, know, you want to change the color of the lights, you simply change the accent color on the car. So as you can see, I'm changing the accent color. And that's how you change the colors on the lights. So, let's say we put a decal on. There we go. We got our 20XX on there with some blue and red. And the lights match it just like that. Let's say we want to go for the orange team now. Look at that. The white lights for this one match it. So, that's how the Artemis GXT works. You change the accent color and then the lights on it change. And the boost comes out in two different exhausts there. So that's a standard boost. As you can see, a lot different to the Maverick, which only had one big exhaust. This one has two little ones, a bit like the Octane there. So that right there is the Artemis GXT from the Rocket Pass 2. Now we're on to Rocket Pass 3, and this one is super slick. And this one is called the Guardian GXT. And personally, I really, really like this car. So as you can see, the lights on this car actually fade from one color to another. And this is a non-painted version of the Guardian GXT. So we can have a look how we actually change those colors. So your primary color, let's say, for example, this one is orange. If you look at the back of the lights, they fade to orange. And the front of the lights are indeed the accent color. So we look at the accent color here. As we change it, you can see it changes the accent color. So let's say we wanted a blue to orange fade. Look how cool that works. Now, obviously, I think that would work really well with something like Apex wheels. Notice how the Apex wheels, you know, when they, when they start going, they change from blue to orange. As you can see, that's sort of what our car does as well. 
So, you know, that's an idea there. But nonetheless, we, we don't really have to think too much about that. This is sort of just a fun little showcase of this car. So there you go. You can see this is the blue version that I've got here. We're going from a primary color, which is blue, and an accent color, which is white. And you can sort of see how these work then. So I really, really do like this car. I really do like the Guardian because it is just so slick. It looks really streamlined. It does look like a new Bugatti or sort of Lamborghini hybrid. It's really cool. And the boost here is, you know, it's one big boost, just like we saw in the Maverick GXT coming out of one big exhaust there. Well, in fact, actually, they're two exhausts, but they are like sort of really close together. So I guess that's what it looks like there. And that is the Rocket Pass 3 Guardian GXT. Next up, we have the Mudcat GXT from the Rocket Pass 4. Now, this one has been through a lot. It begun with only a lime color on the stickers. So you see these yellow stickers I have at the moment on the car. They used to be permanently lime and you couldn't change them. But they updated it and now you can. And I really like the Mudcat. It's, you know, it gives me sort of off-road octane kind of vibes. Off-road Fennec, I guess. It looks really nice. The hitbox is really nice to play with as well. So if we customize car here, you'll see that the accent color determines the color of these stickers. Which is really nice, honestly. Because it never used to be like that. So I'm really glad they did update it. And honestly, these stickers do look really funky. Um, they also do have a bit of a texture on them as well. If you do look, when you change it to certain colors, you can see sort of sparkles on there or whatever you really want to call that. It is quite satisfying to look at. And yeah, I do really like them. They're, they're very Rocket League themed stickers. There's a little Moai head there as well on the car. So yeah, I really do like the Mudcat GXT. And as you can see the boost here, it's just a big standard boost coming out of the back of it. As you can expect with a bulky car like this, it has a huge exhaust right there. So that is the Rocket Pass 4 Mudcat GXT. Then we move again back to some kind of sci-fi themed car here, sort of Lamborghini goes to space kind of thing. It's the Rocket Pass 5 with the Shakara GXT. So this again is a non-painted Shakara GXT that you can see here. And what you're seeing again is some really cool lights. Now these lights are, you know, they're something else. They sort of fade across from the back to the front of the car. And there is so much detail in them. They're on the outside, the inside. They make this cool pattern on the front. They glow like crazy. And once again, they're determined by the accent color. So we could make an orange accent color here and make a really cool blue and orange design there. Or like we've got the orange here, we can make an orange and blue design. I like that. But yeah, you can choose any colors. I, I can showcase a few more for you guys who are wondering. Look how nice this is. And then imagine on top of that, you get a painted version and make a three-way color combination. That's just awesome. Let's see what it looks like if you use black. Wow, okay. Black is actually quite a funky one to use. I really like that. So there you go. That's the Shikara GXT from Rocket Pass 5. And if we go over to the boost, you'll see this one uses a standard boost with sort of two exhaust on this one. So as you can see, it's got very, actually those exhausts are very far apart. So the boost looks quite different to any of the other ones. And I'll give you one last spin around of this one because I don't know if I really did truly show it off in all its glory, but it does look really, really cool. Especially from the back, the spoiler looks really cool as well. I suppose that's not really a spoiler. It's whatever you really call that. It's sort of will change as you drive. But yeah, that is really, really awesome. And that is the Shikara GXT. Then what we have here is Rocket Pass 6, the Ronin GXT. Now the stickers on this one are actually a bit different to any of the ones we've seen before. So again, look at the exhaust there. Wow, this is a non-painted Ronin GXT. And the way the stickers work on this one, actually before I say, look at that cool sort of watery effect on the back there. That's so cool. I've, I don't think I've ever really noticed that. So... The special thing about the lights on this car is it actually takes into account both primary and accent color. So if I change the primary color here, you'll see some of the lights on it do change. For example, the ones at the bottom there, um, there's a few on top as well that do change. It's kind of hard to notice some of them because, you know, they are the same color as the car. But as you can see, it's looking funky. So we'll make it a nice purple color for us there. And then the accent color changes the rest of them. So what should we go with? Purple and lime? Is that a good color combination? I think it is. And as you can see, then you get all of these lights changing color. 
So this one I really like. I do like how the lights are a bit more funky than some of the other ones. And overall, this does look like a really cool car. We then have a red and blue version. If you do want to see that, why not show it to you guys? Then this is what the boost looks like with this car. As you can see, it is one sort of... Well, it's actually three exhausts there, but they all kind of make up one big boost again there. So that's what a standard boost looks like on the Ronin GXT. Now we move into more recently, Rocket Pass went free to play. Wait, no, Rocket League went free to play. The Rocket Pass did not go free to play. The Rocket Pass still costs a thousand credits. But as you can see, guys, this is the season one Rocket Pass car. And that is the Harbinger or Harbinger GXT. Now, this one is a super beefy car here. And you might have think at first glance, oh, there's no lights on this one. I guess it's not as customizable as the other ones, but you, in fact, are going to be wrong. So, look at that massive exhaust there as well. Huge boost pack on the back there. And this car is a really beefy looking car. It's not as slick as some of the other ones, but it still looks really menacing. And the way the lights actually work on this one, see if you can spot them. As I flick through the colours, the lights, they are sort of quite small there, but I really like that sort of subtle touch. As you can see... The accent color will determine the color of all those little lights there. I wonder what happens when we make it black. <laughs> okay, they just fully turn off, I guess. So yeah, as you can see, that's what it looks like when you change the color there. I'll make it a nice little orange. And then obviously the primary color determines all of that. And the boost on this one is obviously, as you saw, a huge boost coming out the back of that car there. Look at that. So there you go. That is the Rocket Pass Season 1 car, the Harbinger GXT. And then we move to the present. This car right here, which I, I, you know, I have a lot of words to say about this car. You know, I do love this car, but there are some things that I want updated. But I think I can do another video about that anyway. But this, my friends, is the Remix GXT. Or if you want to pronounce it officially, the R3MX GXT. But we all know what they mean. It means a Remix GXT. Now this car here, with the theme of the Rocket Pass Season 2 as music, syncs up with the music in-game. So you see the lights on sort of the stereo down there. There's sort of speakers playing out there. The lights on there actually, you know, flash in sync with the beat of the music that's currently playing on Rocket League. Which, you know, is really, really cool. It is a cool addition to Rocket League, the lights that do sort of sync up with the music. And I do like that. But the lights on this car are actually unchangeable. Just like the Mudcat GXT used to be with its lime color, this one can't be changed. Look, I changed the accent to anything. It doesn't change it whatsoever. Not at all. Literally not one bit. So we're stuck with this sort of golden color, which is all right, but I'd prefer it to change. And look, even if we change the color to like crimson or like, oh, not gold. If we change it to like forest green, Look, even then, the lights stay the same, so it has no impact on them. But guys, that is the current car from the Rocky Pass. You probably all know that anyway. And as you can see, the boost is sort of one big exhaust there. And there we go. That is a breakdown of all Rocket Pass cars so far. Apparently, they're all forest green now, so I'll change them back to black. That is every single Rocket Pass car so far up to the 1st of January 2021 on Rocket League. Hopefully that was a nice sort of trip down memory lane for any of those players that, you know, have been playing for a long time. And for any of you players that are new to Rocket League, hopefully you, you know, enjoyed looking at what some of the old cars look like on Rocket League. And, you know, some of the things you might have missed out on. But if you get trading, you could still buy painted versions of all these cars, you know, for pretty cheap prices. But anyway, that'll do the video. Hopefully you guys enjoyed my commentary. Hopefully, you know, you sort of enjoyed me talking about it rather than just sticking on some music. But let me know if, you know, this sort of video you would have just preferred to be music and sort of a showcase, then let me know. But I had fun talking about these. It, it was quite fun looking through them. So hopefully you guys did enjoy the stay. But I'll probably leave some timestamps for any people that want to rush through it. But I'll see you guys in the next one. Like I said, enjoy your 2021. Hopefully you have the best year so far in your life this year. Hopefully you can top all the last ones as much as whatever's going on around the world. Hopefully we can make it a good one. I'll see you guys in the next one. Goodbye.